Hello, my name is Joshua. I currently live in Wisconsin. I've been a Republican for the majority of my life. My faith in the Republican Party was deeply shaken to its core when the GOP nominated him as the front runner for the primaries back in 2016. It signified that the GOP really didn't care about who they chose to further their domestic policies. It showed me that they were a party that was willing to do anything by any means necessary through anyone. That sort of ambition is dangerous, especially when it is put behind someone like Donald J. Trump, someone who cares exclusively about their image. Um, even in the midst of a global health pandemic, something that should not be partisan in any way, constantly seeks to validate his own image and validate himself instead of thinking of the people in the country that he is leading. I oftentimes think of um, after the outbreak of World War II, there was no such thing as Democrat and Republican after Pearl Harbor was attacked. FDR recognized that the American people had been hurt deeply and that the only way to defeat a common enemy was for them to rally together. He recognized that something needed to be done. This is something that is absent in this current administration. The second problem that, that his nomination uh, created is that it demonstrated to me that the, that the party of family values really doesn't have any values at all. It's a cover. Um, it, this demonstrated to me that um, for the most part, the party of family values only likes to live these values in a superficial setting. But when it comes to policy, they'll elect anyone, even a two-bit con man. It demonstrates to me that faith and that principles were really only skin deep because they were willing to support and stand by a president who uh, has had multiple affairs when the Republican Party denounced Bill Clinton for having an, an extramarital affair while in office. <laughs> they will stand by him even when he seems to um, betray a country of ours, Ukraine, that needed our military help just to get dirt on Joe Biden. I was betrayed. We were taught as Christians to live our lives as Christ. And for me, the Republican Party became Judas for someone who was only, only interested in money. I will not be voting for Donald Trump. And even though I hold the original values of the Republican Party in my uh, deepest heart, values of hard work, compassion, you know, standing up for what you believe in, even though I still hold those in my heart, I doubt I will ever vote Republican again. In one election four years ago, I saw the true face of this party and it horrified me. And now we are dealing precisely with the consequences of that action.